My name is Hunter Zampa and today we're cooking two great summer recipes, a gazpacho and an Asian spring roll. Today we're going to start out with the gazpacho, which is basically a cold tomato soup. And um, it's really easy, no cooking involved, and it tastes really good. So we're going to start out with a bell pepper, and it can be any color you want. I prefer red because the tomatoes are red and it's going to have a pretty color. So what you're going to do is you're just going to cut around the seeds, and basically what you do is you don't have to like cut it or anything, you just go right around and then the seeds are right here. And then we're just gonna do a rough chop because everything's going right into the food processor anyway. Also what we're gonna do is we have an onion, so we're just gonna get this out. And I'm gonna do half of the onion. Well basically like maybe a third of the onion, Not you don't need a, a lot of it because we're just using the flavor of it. So we're gonna get that and we're gonna peel it. And we're gonna do a nice little chop on it pretty rough again because it's all going to be cut up in the food processor. So we're going to get that and also we have tomatoes. So these are Roma tomatoes and I love them because they're sweet and they kind of puree right up nicely. So we're just going to quarter these and throw everything right into the food processor. What's going to give this a little bit of a spice is a habanero pepper and this is really nice for adding subtle heat. So I just like to take a little separate knife and kind of cut the top off a little bit and kind of use a paper towel and kind of just shake everything out so you get all the seeds out and because the seeds and the stems are where the spice is so we really don't need so much spice so we want to get most of it out so that's perfect so we're just going to throw that in we're going to add a little bit of olive oil about a fourth of a cup and some white wine vinegar so the white wine vinegar gives it a little bit of tartness with the tomatoes. So we're just going to do a couple splashes. Perfect. And then we have about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Add that right in. So we're just going to warm this up. Make sure it's cut. Then. And we're just going to let this whir up until it becomes semi-smooth. We're going to add the tomato juice so it's going to become even smoother. So. I think that's perfect. And I love this recipe during the summer because it kind of cools your palate off during a really hot day. So what I'm doing is I'm adding two whole cloves of garlic. And we're just going to add this right in. It's going to add a little bit of the spiciness and the kind of garlic flavor. And then we're going to do a lot of salt because, because it's a soup, it really absorbs salt and pepper really well. So we want to make sure we season it really nicely. To get that in and then just a little bit of pepper not so much and then what we're going to do is when we're doing this we're going to pulse it we're going to turn it on take the top of our food processor off and slowly add in our tomato juice it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because we're going to end up straining it so that's going to get all the seeds and um, all this stuff that we don't want and i have a bowl set up with a strainer and this is just a fine like a uh, strainer and we're just gonna pour our soup into it a little bit of a time so we're gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna stir it around and this is basically getting all of that juice out of there and that's where the flavor is and we can leave all the pulp behind once we get all of this out we're gonna pop it in the fridge and let it cool for a minimum of an hour to make sure all those flavors melt and I'll show you the finished product. So now we're gonna move on to our Asian spring rolls. We're gonna use four carrots, one pepper, and a half of a cucumber. And it's gonna be coated with a nice Asian kind of uh, spring sauce. So this is also a nice summer recipe because it's really light, it's cold. So what we have is just some carrots. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna julienne them. And that's just a fancy French word for matchsticks. So we're gonna cut the top off. And then we're gonna cut this part, the bottom part. And we're just going to kind of even it out so it stands into, so it's like a square shape. And then we're gonna just slowly just start cutting it into little matchsticks. And they don't have to be perfect square shapes, they can be a little longer because it's all just gonna go into the dish anyway. So we're just gonna put this in. And then we're just gonna mix up all of the veggies once they're cut with the roll. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the gazpacho. And we're just gonna cut around the bell pepper and throw it out. And then just do really nice, thin slices. And then we have half of a cucumber. 
that I'm just gonna peel. This is called a waxy cucumber, and the skin's a little hard to eat, a little hard to digest, so I just like to cut it off. We're gonna do the same thing we just did with the matchstick. So cucumber's a little bigger, so it's easier to work with. So you're just gonna cut each end off and make a nice little square. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut it like that, and then get it across, and then just cut it again. So make another little matchstick. So then we're just gonna do some long side in like this. So you're just gonna do a couple of onions. You don't want so many because they can overpower the dish. So we have all of our veggies and we're just gonna take your hands, get it all thoroughly mixed up, get everything distributed. Perfect. So now we're gonna move on to the Asian sauce for our spring rolls. So it's really simple and easy. All you gotta do is eyeball all of your different things. So we just have some regular soy sauce. I like to use low sodium because I like to add my own salts to everything. So just about, you know, two tablespoons of that. We have some sesame, sesame oil. So just like a couple of drops of it. We have some fish sauce. This is a really Southeast Asian ingredient. And I'm gonna use about one tablespoon of that. It adds some saltiness and brininess to the dish. Some dark soy sauce, tamari, which adds a little thickness and some vinegary flavor. A little bit of sriracha, everybody's favorite. And this is becoming like a really booming ingredient. This is called gochujang, and it's a Korean spicy bean paste. And what it does to a dish is it adds really spicy flavor, but it also adds a nice nutty flavor as well. Just gonna use a little bit of gochujang and it looks like that. We're just gonna whisk this up and make sure the sriracha and the gochujang are dissolved. And then we're gonna add it right over our veggies. Grab our tongs and just make sure every veggie is coated with the sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna work with our rice wrappers. So you just have a shallow cookie sheet, like a nice Tupperware dish. We're gonna get some warm water. We don't want it to be super hot, but you want it to be warm enough to be able to soften the paper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rice wrapper and drop it into the water and kind of let it get soaked in the water and move it around and you can see it becomes invisible. We're gonna let this sit for a while, about, you know, a minute or so to make sure it gets nice and soft. So we're gonna take our wrapper, kind of drain it a little bit, move it over. You wanna work with it really fast because it's gonna dry out. So just take a little bit of our ingredients, of our stuffing, and put it towards the side of it. And then just wrap it over and wrap it. Then is your spring roll. And here is our gazpacho and our Asian spring rolls.